Hey, what's up guys? Betty here and the brand new Amp 63 pistol has just been added into Warzone. And I know whenever a new gun gets added into the game, everyone wants to know, is it any good? Should I bother grinding to unlock it? And is it going to be in the game's meta? Well, in this video, I'm going to answer all of that. And to be perfectly honest, I think this could be one of the best secondaries in the game. I actually hopped on uh, after unlocking it, which is quite a bit of a pain to be able to get, to be perfectly honest with you. You have to uh, complete 20 different matches and get five kills with pistols in each of those to unlock the Amp 63. Um, but to be honest, it's going to be perfectly worth it because I think this is going to be the secondary pistol that you're going to want to have in your ghost loadout because I actually went and hopped on and in the first game with it, I dropped 31 kills and I was having a little mess about it. I was like, oh, I want to go test out this build, um, which I'll show you guys in a second. Don't you worry about it. But this lobby straight away, I think it was a 1.1 KD average kit lobby. So uh, not terrible, not great either. But, you know, I was, I was just really happy with it and the performance of the pistols. You can see in some of these engagements, one of the main benefits, there are a couple benefits to actually running this pistol, which you'll see in the game play first of all your mobility you've got really high movement a bit of speed uh, you can make plays that you would otherwise not be able to get also closing down gaps to catch squads up or kind of uh, pick up different routes so you can get different angles to take on enemy players really really helpful and like you can see it. i'm taking squads down quite easily with the 25 round mag which is the mag that i'd personally recommend out of all of them uh, i also tried out the akimbos uh of thinking oh we might have a new akimbo meta uh, don't worry we won't the akimbo pistols uh to be perfectly honest with you suck uh, i think it's to do with the low slow the slower fire rate um and that is one downside with this you can get overrun because of the 25 round mag you can mainly take maybe one maybe two people out with it um God. if they're fully plated and then it kind of runs out but it's got hot it's pretty high damage output especially with those headshots if you land them high mobility and to be perfectly honest with you really really fun to use i forgot how fun it is just to run around with a pistol and be able to move around the map quickly uh, and then if you pair it with something like the amax which is what i did it's a perfect combination and that's what I talked about earlier. Having that ghost loadout with this pistol is going to be ideal because uh, end game scenarios, you can just quickly grab grab your loadout, make sure you've got ghost so you stay off radar and you've got pistol. But also you might notice the third perk that I run isn't amped because with a pistol, you draw it quickly anyway. You do not need amped to switch weapons quickly when you've got a pistol as your secondary. And that's one of the major plus points for this because tracker is an unbelievably underrated perk. And you can see this the amount of times that i'm able to make plays and close gaps down or chase enemy players that i normally have lost thanks to tracker and that's something that i think we could see a shift of i think it's thing i'd really enjoy is kind of like seeing the meta change like here i see the footprints which gives me enough time to slide into that and pick up that kill without tracker there i'd have been taken out um but that combination of being able to have high mobility having tracker and go straight off the rip may make this uh the amp 63 a viable choice to take straight away however um you will lose gunfights against other smgs and like uh close range uh, assault rifles like the xm4 the ak-47 it's not going to outperform those however as a pistol something that you can take straight away it's definitely worth it like here like look at that mobility i'm able to straight jump and like avoid that guy's shots pretty easily and then get out of there because most people if they're running an smg or an assault rifle they're going to be a little bit slow they're not going to be able to close those gaps down so it's going to be the perfect weapon to disengage and I, I i at this stage i was like hold on i could actually get a 30 kill game so i kind of step up the gear here pushing in with a pistol trying to use it as much as i can um and straight away this is another great great example closing in on the gas can stay out of the line and i can just i overtake this person who's running inside a vacant right now to be able to get the angle so i can get an easy kill and stay ahead of the gas the whole time and like you can see it there like the damage output pretty damn tasty um i get sniped uh going around this corner so i get taken out thankfully jaff went and bought me uh and then just kind of relied on the a max to kind of fight in these mid to long range distances and also special token looking forward to it going um it is a lot of fun but it it is a little bit overpowered let me know what you think about that down in the comments as well um but i will be giving you the class setup and loadout for this amp 63 pistol so you know what you need to run on it because this single pistol don't use the akimbo and even at a distance right there um like the ads speed perfect and a nice little trick um, if you've ever got a big bird coming at you put a few shots into it first if you put like three or four bullets into it a single c4 will destroy it if you just throw a c4 in it straight away won't blow up um and farmland finishes are actually one of my favorites like 
I don't see enough uh, finishes onto this. And I, like I said, this is a decent lobby. It's a 1.07 KD. So everyone in the lobby has like a decent KD overall. Um, so I was, I was pretty happy with this. 31 kill game. I've been getting a lot more 30s recently. You may have seen it on the stream as well. But this is a great example of the pistol. Uh, can switch over, close the gap as quickly as I can. So I can work an angle to pick up this kill behind the tree um, and wipe out that squad. We've got one final squad, right, to pick up the win. And this is always the nervous thing. Whenever you're on a gameplay, especially with a brand new pistol, that's just been added into the game like the amp 63 i'm like all right I, I do not choke this win we need the win it doesn't count it doesn't matter all the other 29 kills don't matter but push over here throw stun grenades into the building um see the guy on the bottom floor he's hit been hit with a stun so he can't really do anything and i take him out like this is the downside with a pistol right there no he's not got a self-res so i push up he's taking down jaff so i want to get up there quickly lose him to kind of the glare but there we have it there's the win with the amp 63 let's check out the class setup so let's get into making the best class setup and loadout for that brand new Amp 63 pistol. Now, if we go to the pistol itself, uh, now, if you go ahead and get this from the store, uh, you'll get the Gravitaser blueprint. And if I'm going to be honest with you, I use this for quite a while in Plunder and it is dreadful. It is an awful, awful build. And I think the main reason for that is because of the akimbo these pistols if you want to run akimbo are not the one i'd recommend going ahead and using the diamatis or the m19s um do not uh, use the amp 63 so you're going to go ahead and just deselect all i'm going to run you through building the class so you know exactly why i've used the attachments that i've used now we're going to start off with the muzzle where i use the sound suppressor now there is an argument for to use the agency suppressor to maximize that effective damage range but for me uh, i wanted maximum mobility i want that fastest ads and sprint to fire speed possible so I can get my shots off and I can just use this to chase and close down gaps, which is what you saw in the gameplay, to be honest. So I went ahead and used the sound suppressor. Personally, I think it's a great addition to Warzone and has really mixed up a lot of the class setups for a lot of guns and given you um, a lot more options in the way to build your class to suit your playstyle, which is great. So we go ahead and put the sound suppressor on there. Now, the barrel, uh, pretty easy choice for me. Uh, it's out of either the Reinforced Heavy or the Task Force. Personally, went for the Task Force because the recall isn't that difficult to manage at all, especially with a pistol like this. Um, and just having that strafe speed, effective damage range, and bullet velocity is just going to make the weapon better overall. Now, something that a lot of people haven't really been taking full advantage of is the laser attachment on Cold War weapons. There are a lot of great attachments, especially for SMGs, uh, that you should use. And for me, in this particular class setup uh, that you just saw in the gameplay, I went ahead and got the SOF target designator. That increases my effective damage range. So I'm going to get the max damage profile for the Amp 63 at the furthest distance possible before it drops off into its second and third tier damage profiles. Um, that's going to really, really help with your time to kill at close range. Then hip fire actually personally didn't really hip fire too much with this. It's like a really fast ADS, uh, but that effective damage range really, really helpful. Uh, then for the ammo, you've got quite a lot of options, um, pretty much just different speeds, uh, like you've got South 23 round fast mag, I just went for the 25 round maximum bullet uh, mag that you can have, uh, can allow you to take down one to two people at a time that are fully plated, so 500, 600 damage output if you're landing all your shots, which is pretty nice for a, for a secondary weapon, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, and then the final attachment I went for, it's not an optic, is a rear grip, and it's just a base serpent wrap, it's going to increase your ADS speed, um, and I feel like on SMGs right now, the Serpent Wrap is one of the greatest. And I, I, I treat the Amp 63 as an SMG. And it's just an SMG that allows you to change your perk choices. And this is something I want to go for. Like one of the big main, main perks I go for always, EOD. Stops you dying to a lot of explosives in this game. Uh, really, really helpful. But you can go for Ghost straight off the rip. And that's why I would grab this, Clark, this particular loadout is... Final circle, if 53 seconds, when the last loadout comes in, grab this um, and you can kind of kind of fight in a in a fair chance without being caught by UAVs or heartbeat sensors, which are really helpful. And then tracker, unbelievably good, right? So, so many situations. You saw it throughout the gameplay. I was chasing people and it's just an easy like kind of pathway to follow. If someone's trying to get away from you, there's no chance that they're going to just kind of like dive into an alley and you're going to lose them because you've got that max movement speed thanks to the Amp 63. There is nothing unless they drop all their guns and running with fists that are going to allow them to get away from you. So uh, go ahead, use Tracker, give it a go. Um, and then with that, I've been pairing it with the Amax. The Amax received that nerf to its headshot damage modifier, but it is still the best gun in the game like for mid to long range use the amax it is unbelievably good upper chest headshot damage uh, you can take people down very quick there are other options you can go for the ram 7 you could go for the krig uh, but really 
the AMAX is still the king of the assault rifles. And that is pretty much loadout. C4 and a stun grenade. If you uh, struggle finding people, you can go ahead and use the heartbeat sensor. But the Amp 63, let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. Personally, I'm a big fan of it. Really enjoyed it. I think it's going to be the best secondary weapon uh, out of everything that is currently available. It's the best pistol in Warzone right now. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.